I'm sorry. We're still alive. So, let's make them pay, shall we? Of course. Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to take a look at Chorus, this is a third person space shooter slash adventure game. In this game uh, you're going to follow uh, Nera, you're going to play as Nera, which is on her quest to destroy the dark cult that created her. You'll be doing tons of dogfighting in beautiful amazing space visuals as you can see here. You're going to upgrade your ship, get new abilities, go into side quests and of course follow the main story, which is really cool as well. And by the way, I'm playing this on the PlayStation 5, but of course also a PC version. So first let's talk about the RPG elements, how we get some stuff, upgrade things, stats uh, for your spaceship, etc. So, in this screen, by the way, you can see it, you can access it on you know, PlayStation, just tap the uh, touch uh, button and you get to see your ship. You can see all the different weapons you unlock as you progress. There are also different modes that improve uh, your uh, stats of the ship and provide you unique utilities. Uh, here is their shield that regenerates and also your HP of the ship which you can increase again as you progress and find new items. Now although you don't have tons of weapons here, only a few they are really really fun to play. You have your Gatling gun, your lasers, your missiles, uh, so you can switch and between them and of course let's not forget that you have also your uh, abilities which is actually Nara's abilities which you unlock also as you progress. It allows you to do some really, really cool things. So you can see the different mods that you can use. And if you combine the bonus, some of them with different type, you can actually get extra benefits. So plenty of them to use. But again, it's not overwhelming, yeah, but still enough to really get you satisfied with combat and not to overwhelm players. Uh, the whole general, by the way, playtime for me was 20 hours and I did quite a lot of you of side quests as well. Here you can see Nara's rights. Unique abilities which are really really fun to use in combat. And some of them by the way require you to use in different puzzles which the game have, some of it racing, some puzzles that you need to solve. Uh, so it's kind of combined, uh, again not too much, most of the time you'll be dogfighting, but you're using the abilities to do different things and you need to use it, you know, you know sk be skilled with this in order to kind of be able to finish certain areas in the game. And even those you can still upgrade and you get better benefits when you find different type of items that increase the level. Now the same goes by the way to your abilities and weapons. If you use them more, you can get mastery which improves their stats as well. In some of the missions, the game will test your maneuverability. You need to maneuver yourself in really kind of tight maze, uh, really fast because there are enemy on your tail. So there are more really unique missions in this game that kind of build around the mechanics of flying a spaceship, uh, which are really fun and entertaining. And definitely I think some of them will be fine challenging. Although there are different difficulty by the way, and if you play for example on easy mode, you're still gonna have kind of a nice challenge. So it's up to you whether you decide to focus on the story or really challenge yourself in higher difficulties. And another mission needed to destroy some defenses to get into the hull of the spaceship. We got heavy heat on us. Health player, we need your help. Copy that, Captain. Now as you progress and explore different areas, some of the zones will have a hunger, which is a place where you can upgrade your shields and HP, uh, so make sure you stop from time to time and spend your hard earned money. Here you can see me upgrading my shield and my HP, which of course is necessary if you want to become more durable during fights. Now all that wouldn't be fun if the music wasn't read, but the game is amazing dynamic music. Ready to dock. I got you covered. Now 
Now, speaking about exploration, uh, the UI is minimalist, as you can see, which I really like. Uh, the thing is that some of the icons being used for two things, for example, uh, using the icon, like you see this little arrow that shows you some of the items you can actually find and pick up. They're also used, by the way, for some of the missions. So they kind of overlap, but we're using the different icons, the different colors. Now it also happens to be a bit confusing because the environment is so detailed and the icons are a bit fade gray sometimes. So and again, a bit of optimization wouldn't hurt for this game, but overall something you get used to very, very fast once you start playing. Now let's talk about combat. Combat is insane in the game. It's not that you're going to do some dogfighting, you're also going to expose amazing big ships by just destroying them from the inside. Now keep in mind, the controls are super tight, so it's really, really fun if you want to do kind of a drifting sharp turns, keep, for example, just moving, shifting left and right, do really, really sharp turns to follow enemies, and overall, you are gonna have so many unique abilities uh, that you can just pass through enemies and destroy them. You can even grab enemies at a later stage. Uh, when you're later in the game, you can actually grab enemies and just throw them on other ships. Uh, so many cool things uh, and so many unique enemies that you actually need to use your abilities in order to overcome them in battle. For example, some of them, they act like bees. They can actually attach to you when you need to shake them up. Another one is to you need to check your uh, ship in order to avoid getting lasered by some of the turrets. So overall, really fun and dynamic combat. All of it wouldn't be complete without having some epic boss fights, and there are, but unfortunately not many. But those that I actually did play were actually fun. As I mentioned, I played this on the PlayStation 5, I noticed zero issues, it's ran super super smooth. Uh, there are two options you can use, performance or resolution, so in the menu, in the settings of the game itself, so you can try it out uh, and play with the two. I play performance mode, uh, I personally prefer of course frame rates uh, over visuals, although I think in the second playthrough I'm probably gonna go with the other one and check it out. And by the way, the game supports the DualSense controller and it's absolutely amazing playing because again, you're feeling all the vibrations in your head when actually fighting, it's just absolutely a fantastic experience. You must play with the controller, even if you play it on the PC, play with the controller. Now this game has so many things that I really enjoy. First of all, something new for a change. I have enough of just playing the same thing all over again, so something new. This being something, a refreshing gameplay experience that I was waiting for. I didn't know this, I'm going to enjoy this game as much as I did, but again, something new to play. The other thing, is it combines all of the things in such a great harmony. The music, the sound effects, the visual effects, the beautiful space vistas, the really amazing 
tried control. The dynamic music, everything just combined well to deliver this immersive experience. This is by far, and by the way, I did stop playing The Last of Us 2 and I, I went to play this game and just couldn't put the controller down because it was so much fun. So it's just that good. And if you are searching for a game that is really tight and packed, although it's 20 hours, again, if you play with all of the side quests, it's probably going to take maybe 5 hours, even 30 uh, hours in general. Uh, but overall, you're going to left with a great experience. You know, when you play a great game and you just feel like you play something amazing, so that's what I got when I actually finished playing the game. It's just that good, not just finishing, throughout playing the game. And there's so many other games that I play, I, I don't remember them. I, I mean, just don't leave me a great impression. But this game, this game was a fantastic game. This is like, remind me of the games that I played when I was a child. There's so many games that I remember 20, 30 years, you know, after. And I know that this game will be one of those games that I remember for a long, long time. So this is why I tell you, even though I'm telling you that it lasts for 20 hours for me and I did, I think, many of the side quests, still, you're gonna have an amazing, amazing ride. And this is the most important thing. This game doesn't stretch you out. Uh, it offers, by the way, some uh, fast travel points and you can actually move quite fast when you're with the ship. And there are beautiful zones, by the way, that you can actually visit. Each one looks different. Uh, overall, it's really kind of great action-packed experience without actually wasting your time. Now, if you want to ask me about it should improve, well, first of all, I wanted more weapons. Uh, second, you know, sometimes you feel like you want to have a different ship, although keep in mind that you start with the ship and then upgrade to this one, we stay with you consistently throughout the campaign. Uh, maybe a multiplayer mode and, uh, of course, having more bosses and maybe use some UI updates to make it easier for me. The first hour was just absolutely a nightmare for me until I got used to it. And of course more, maybe a game mode after I finish it, there's another game mode, but there isn't. I'm telling you ahead of time, after you finish it, you can actually go before actually you fight the boss and continue playing. So, but there isn't anything like special mode, super, super hard mode, something like that after you finish the game, unfortunately. But if I pick overall, it's one of the best games that I play in 2021 and one of the better games that I play ever. It's just absolutely a great experience and I really enjoy it. Now, again, you don't have to be a fan of space sims or uh, uh, third-person shooters. This is a game that you at least need to give it a try. And actually, there is a demo. I checked on the Steam. There's a downloadable free demo. You can actually download and try it out and see if you like it or not. But for me, overall, highly recommended and definitely worth the price. Absolutely amazing game. In my opinion, a must-play. So this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this one, also consider subscribing to my channel. Give this one a little like and you can discover many, many amazing games that I play. I play many different genres. So maybe you miss some games, you want to find about them out. Well, make sure you subscribe. You'll find those out. So again, thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye. Come on!